Hello, Chan Pu. สวัสดีครับอาจารย์สวัสดีครับอาจารย์กายสวัสดีครับทุกท่านทุกคน Hello. Sorry, I thought that my my Wi-Fi was interrupt. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. I guess um most of you already here. Except me. Me, <laughs> Malaka. Hey. Morning, me. Uh, Latin for, uh, shall we wait for some members from my class? Just a couple of minutes and then I think we should start. Very nice meeting you this morning. We haven't <laughs> we haven't met for a long time. Yeah, like like um a month already that we haven't met. Right. But I my vaccination went fine. We have to postpone this uh, event because of my vaccination on on Tuesday. Now I'm fine. It's okay. Um, if you guys already here from my class, open your cameras to sh to show your beautiful faces. Yes, Alex is there. What about what about the others? Like Pokey, yes, yay. Christina, good morning. Joy, morning. Today we will have like a couple. I would say like, uh, we'll get roughly lecture from me, and then we will have like a small workshop. So I will defy you for uh, breaking rooms so you can talk about that and we can brainstorming later in the end of the class. I think that could be our program for today. So all, all of you understand, right? Ajahn Pu has explained about uh, what will happen today, right? Okay. And Ajahn Pu will be the one who uh, uh, bring us to, to the separate rooms, right? Yeah, so, so I will let uh, participants uh, participant show the room they want to be. But actually, I provide them for three groups already <laughs> with, without me knowing. Okay. But I will tell them late soon. Okay, <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I should start. Um, okay, mm -hmm. I, I have a couple slides to 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 introduce my class after we have we went for midterm presentations. We'll be back to the course, and um, yeah, this is how we are. Okay, uh, welcome to second half of first semester, two o two one. And um, we have talked about semantic designs, which is like uh, the way that we try to communicate it from the design to making a sign, to making a representation from the species. And then this is us, like we're drawing a duck to see like what is the signifying and signifying of two things. And then understand how to make things like significations, learning from the duck. Like I refer it from like Robert Venturi, like it's more. And then we have known like, okay, how to making a signification is making from object and concept, but they related to perception, experience and convention. Some of your ducks, 
it's like okay you use experience to understand an object and concept so you're drawing a duck which is anyone can understand it but some of you creating the duck from your perceptions like you eat it you see it and you mix your perception as a sign a new sign so people who have the same experience no the same perception with you understand the sign and for some of you use like many concepts and conventions a new thing so your duck it's pretty hard to understand, but it's personal. But you mix the many concepts, a virus concept, to to making a new things. And for before we have this class, like I would like them to understand like how to make it into the design, into the building, into the city. So they give us an example, uh, an example for what is magic in architectures. And it's very nice that most of you bring out the signification in the term of words and syntax. And Jennifer, Kiko, and Kang use something that rely on something like they have the body, the wording of something, or syntax of something, structure of something. And then when you saw this thing, you saw this building, you just say, oh, this remind me of that word. This remind me of that syntax. So this group called the words and syntax. And you will go to the breaking room number one. Jennifer, Kiko, and uh, and Kang. Three of you will go to the room number one after they have presentation and they will brainstorming individually grouping. Okay. And for our second group, this is analogy, right? The the, the body of the buildings never deliver the same word or the same syntax, but it remind you. And when you imagination like you you compare it with something that you understand, like Joy, Polly, Yulin, and Christina. Both of you compare the body of the shape to the something that you related, like bananas, donuts, and tarser, and pants. And I think like those are things. Not, that's not what intentionally architect would like to be. But you see things and you compare it. Analogy things. So this group is called analogy. So you will move to the breaking room number two. And then for the breaking room number three, you metaphor. Right, the building is like the pretty abstract, pretty movement, pretty dynamic. But you saw the shapes, and that remind you of something that you can understand it. Right, the, the the concept of the building and the shape of things, metaphor to represent something like like elephant tower represent time, as like the commercial buildings, and also like the airport electric shows. It's, like open the book, like open the passport, or something, and also frame use like Taiwanese residential to remind him of like something that you live on with the with the jungle, like a like a wolf. So all of these, Tabby, Alex, and Flame, will be a metaphor team, and you will go to the break room, breaking room number three. So this is how we go. Like you, you, you guys provide for three groups, and then you will talk about like how to make a social interaction in the worldwide community, which is why we talk about this a little bit from the from the end of the class, like, have you been to Sunday market and Saturday market? How you see what's the difference? The Saturday market is different because like we have community still, and they provide for two communities, which is making a craftsmanship called silverware, and then this make, make Chiang Mai different because we have community, we have social interactions, we're providing some, uh, community participant and let's see how this social interact can shape up the new perspective in the city or not i don't know but let's find out in the class that's it for for my introductions so i think it's time for to for me to pick <laughs> up something or, or ajan pranam would like to to, to introduce just something want, just want to thank you ajan Pu, because i think it's a very good uh bringing to Nay's topic and we, you can see that public space is still the, the topic of, of a bold person. Unfortunately, I forgot to, to tell Anna to come. Actually, Anna should come to join and perhaps she has a class this morning. And so I think it will be very interesting to, to have uh, some feedback from you guys. And after me, we will talk about it. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, I, I think like I, I recording 
and uh, live live this Zoom on YouTube. So maybe later I send this link to 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 Anna, so she can catch up later. Okay. Thank you. Give, give this room to Miss Nay. Miss Nay, you ready? Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> A little excited. Uh, just take it easy. Okay. No, 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 not this. A moment. Yeah, you have to share again. You screen. Again. โอ้มันยังเป็นอยู่มันมีสองอย่างโอ้สวัสดีโอเคอ่าดีสุดค่ะ Hello if hello hello everyone my name is Ne I'm studying in the master degree Chiang Mai University. Today we're talking about my research about social network and public space. I hope you guys open your mind and enjoy. <laughs> Content online today we're talking in three parts. First is introduction about my research. Next is the explain about more detail about studying community and about public space and preliminary finding and Uh, the last is our workshop assignment. Okay. I was born in Chiang Mai and I live here all of my life. Chiang Mai is um, an important historic city of Thailand and it's become a center of Lanna Kingdom. It's over 700 years. The in The inhabitant is the people who live in the city for a long time. Um, inhabitant have family, have friends. They do a job in a city and they make a city movement. Inhabitants are the one of key element that because they stay in in the place. Inhabitant is the most important person who can preserve the historic area. And Volai district that Ajahn Poo has said is well known in a civil war village. In history, um, the ascender migrant from Smith village, they moved here in the old days. And in the past, the householder, every house make a civil war in the house. A civil war is the valuable product and used to popular in the past and, and very famous. So this community is wealthy from civil war. So for now, um, may, some member is change the career, but this world district will famous in the name of civil war, still famous in the name of civil war. But now from the expansion of the city now and have new business like new tourist business in the city, The old city is changing. Lo local residents were migrated from their homes. It's a big problem in the historic city now in the world. It's called gentrification problems. Someone move out and who will move in this historic city? That is a problem. So that is why I um, interesting in this topic. I think social network, um, in historic area is important and resident in there is important too. I think they use public space in their life. So, so it might have something interesting. So interesting in social network and public space of what Moon San. My, in my opinion, good space and good public space will enhance The social network in historic community. So my research is searching about 
to understand the social network and public space in community, how using and role of public space. And after that, it will make to analyze it, a social network and public space to, the, to make a recommendation to, that's suitable for the community. My methodology have uh, five steps about my research. At first, I want to know about the place inventory, so interview and survey in the place. And after that, go to the place to have an in-depth interview, the local people, how they think and activity, was, was, what is going on in the space. And the third is uh, observation on the area and behavior that, that happened. And after that, analyze it and make a suggestion for the community. Yes. Finish the introduction and the second is for my research detail. What is social network that I mean is, you guys can look at the photo one and two. This photo is the same street, but it's different, right? In my opinion, picture number two is more interesting. It seems have a movement, people talking and, and have some activity in it. In, it should be have a story. This, this is called social activity. People are, can attract each other and they make a social activity. Then social activity become a social network. Um, at first, you have to understand the activity on the public space. Jen Gail study about this. And Jen Gail uh, explained in three kinds of activity on public space. First is necessary activity. Necessarily is like you go to the market, you go to work, go to school, um, waiting on the bus. It happened under all condition training, you will go to market like that. And the second is optional activity. Optional activity is like, um, it depends on the quality of the space, like good weather and you go out to standing or watching something outside the homes. But the social activity are the resultant that evolve from that boat to activity. Social activity is when you see uh, your neighbor face and know each other and just like just say hi or chatting stop to talking by accidentally do activity together or tradition event you met you met together or volunteer event this is the social activity social activity will lead you to a big community network make you feel like friendship have someone to know in the area and feel uh, sometimes help, help you to do something in the community network. That is many advantage. Yes, you already know about social activity and next I will explain you about where to study. My, my study uh, community is Wat Mun San. Wat Mun San, is in Walai district. Walai district is in the south of outer rectangular Chiang Mai, historic old town. Walai district is composed of two community, Wat Si Supan and Walai, yes, Wat Si Supan and Wat Mun San. And Wat Mun San divide into sub community. It's uh, the member called the North, North Moon San and South Moon San. It has around 300 families and over 1,000 for population. This community using areas almost be a resident, resident area, yellow color. Uh, but in the middle of the community is a temple. You have three temple 
around this community. And I have a commercial area in the edge of, of the street. The red color is, this is the commercial area. And other that is the mixed use like hotel, guest house, dormitory. Look at this map, it's present about the street structure. Um, it has six meter road and two lanes surrounding this community and a sub road. Sub road we call soil. So, and, and they put the number of soil like soil one, soil two, soil three, uh, followed by top two down. Soil is the small and narrow alley in the community. Some soil is the dead end, just one meter. Past cannot buy a car, but can walk or bicycle. Actually, this is a physical of Old Town Street, characteristic in Chiang Mai. Yes. And I will show you about community physical atmosphere. This is where I load the main road. And some have uh, a graffiti on the street on beside the road building, the old building. This is the red, red, red truck. This is the local noodle shop. Noodle shop. Um, at noon, they will go to eat here and maybe accidentally meet here. This is the temple gate made by aluminum, but, but the aluminum is make a technique from a silverware technique. It's represent about the entrance to go to temple. And they have a monument, uh, a cow monument in the Thai name is Bua, Bua is a cow. So it's represent the character of, of community and for the resident have a green fence, bamboo fence, they decorate by the trees. This is the temporary shop in, in front of house. In the evening, uh, they can sell food in front of house like this. This is the grocery store. You can, you can buy something in, in it. Yes, it's also say may have many grocery store at soy tree. This is the entrance of the temple view. And also have so in so and another soy for have a grocery store too. This is the local noodle shop. The local people know it. And around the temple street, have a shading from a big, a big trees. And in soy one, have a pocket of the temporary water and Jewish shop here. You can see it when you walk there. From observation above, and in and I have in depth interview, uh, and I can summarize for you to be a preliminary finding. Okay. From the interview and method, I have method uh, about snowball, temp snowball sampling technique. Begin from three person, a key person in the area. And I had interview more than, more than three for two, 20 person. This chain link in the map, uh, show about the interview, interviewer connecting. Community, uh, in a summary, community social network is still strong enough. They know each other and they mostly know many members. Some group are close, they work together and they go to the home like often. Some some they met in a social event or in the temple event, 
and they said like they often meet together in a funeral ceremony. Uh, so I can summarize let, like what Moon San Community Social Network is complicated, um, implicate to civil activity too, because they all talk about the civil activity, go to buy, go to sell, and go to ask someone about, about civil activity. Sorry to interrupt, but perhaps you need to summarize. I think we yeah. can <laughs> Okay, I'll be quick. Um, and from and from interview that, uh, I find three group of half person and person in in the interview that. Uh, no, 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 I didn't. At first, I didn't expect about the gender, but the social connection brought me to 20 case. They have a woman, a man, a teenage, a calf person, a local owner, a retired person. And they use the public space in their, in their daily life. Uh, and I have classified their answer and to, and can, summarize them in three groups, like women and car person. Yeah, women and car person group. And all generation car person. And the third is new generation car person. The three group is different uh, activity and connection and how to use the space, they, they're different. So after that, uh, I can categorize the public space that they use in four kinds. First is temple area. First is temple area. The second is street. The third is front of house area. Fourth is about the shop area. A temple area is have, have sala and under the trees and many court in the temple is possible is possible to be a public space and on the street. And sometimes they have a pedestrian to walk past and it's be a public space. And on the Wallai Road, and so I see have many seats. Beside the road is interesting to make a public space. And in kind of front of house area, uh, some house decorate green area and flower in front of house. So it's possible to be a public space. And the last is shop area. In the semi outdoor, not, not inside the shop, it's possible to be a public space because they met here by accidentally, or maybe they often go there and they meet the member community. Okay. Uh, I map I map the four type of public space in this map, and you can see a temple and surrounding by the public sitting in that green dot. And it's possible to add many more interesting elements from for social movement and for social activity here. It's possible. Uh, okay. Moreover, in three, in three group that I has the why is have many results and interesting thing. I found using detail and in different group, such as a woman usually go to market and community than a man. A man um, go to other temple more than a woman. A woman connection is stronger than men. And they often met by accidentally and they do volunteer activity. A student and teenage is on the public space is less than other groups 
I haven't seen much about the children. Um, in local shop and market, uh, the meeting point by accidentally, people uh, can walk and cycling in this community. It's easy to take a social interaction. And narrow soil make a people more slower. So maybe they can have an interaction. I have found soy one in the north side, the, the red color is surrounding by the car person house. So it's interesting area for, for this community. And it have many social activity that I have seen. Yes, <laughs> have done about the detail about area and we will gonna go to the part three about our workshop. Based on the information that I have described previously, I think Soi Wan is interesting and have a potential to lead into our mini workshop, especially the in front of house area and between the fence and street area. Um, I would divide you guys like three group to create interesting in front of house and so I want you can get idea and do my idea for a suggestion that's suitable for this community. So I want this is the physical of so I want I have 40 to 50 family here. Uh, they stand around for 100 meters, spend five to 10 minutes to walk past. It's not too much far from temple. Um, the main road, the main road in the middle is called Soy One, and they have four dead end sub road. Can walk past or motorcycle pass, but cannot pass by a car. Uh, some householder parking in front of house, some, someone parking the car in the temple. Is depend on. Um, the interesting place in in Soi Wan is the Silver Smith House, the yellow dot I had dot, uh, uh, and it have small temporary water shop in the red the red color. Uh, this is the interesting point to to stop or to to make more interaction. And so when you pass, walk past here at noon, maybe you, you can hear the voice of, they make a silverware in their house. And- Yes, thank you. Maybe yeah. you yeah, have yeah. to summarize. And then I cut, then I cut uh, from, four, from 400 to 160 meter to this workshop and this is, I will show about what the interact, inter, social interaction that I have seen in this soil. Someone sitting on the bike and waiting someone, someone stop and talking in front of the water, lo water shop. A neighbor chatting in front of house, a wooden group house is the ghost atmosphere for the historic area. Uh, someone sat on the public bench. This is the interesting thing, bamboo, bamboo convenient bench. It can keep and it can sit easy. And this one is the calf person who have home in the soy one. Many silver smith house here. Yeah. This is a position of the water shop. And it have a green strip. You can create more something possible in it. And the right hand side is the, that bench I had talked. And this is a wooden house, a group of wooden house. It have many pocket and possible area. Um, and, and more detail. This is the, the name sign of the home. 
that represent the silverware house and silverware where, where they live. It's arbor and fence. They decorate a fresh and good for a need, uh, the green space. Maybe we just go through. Okay. And the last is the water machine. It's, it's a good point to dropping or something by, by water. Yes. And all element that I had talked is possible to create and lead, lead, lead this community to be a more good place. Uh, you guys can select it or do something about it to make a good success, good suggestion for this community. Um, I, I, I have do the 3D model and upload in this link and you guys can go to find it and understand it. And after that, we have like 40 minutes, right? To brainstorm or something, pin up a fresh idea about this. Thank you Thank very you. much, Ni, uh, for your lovely presentation, lovely graphic. Thank you very much. And about uh, all of the information, I think um, maybe you guys like to ask some question. And I think what Ni uh, is trying to do is she she's focused on the on the old community and now she thinks that the social network is very strong but she thinks that the the public space or physical space the physical settings of the area can be richer or can be improved and and she's as a designer would like to improve the area for more social activities and now she asks you guys to think about it and and suggest this because uh, afterwards she will she will also uh, do the same with the local inhabitants but now you are like <laughs> uh, in in terms of designer so for her she will consult like designers and and inhabitants both sides and she will she will summarize or make a suggestion at the end of her research. Thank you very much indeed. So, hello, um, my student. Wake up. Are you wake up? Okay. I guess like this is your job. So we have like, a small workshop for today. I do you for three groups right now. So um, don't you remember? Can you share my screen? Okay. Um, we may need to adjust the time because yeah. I think we have like uh, 50 minutes all together, right? Yes, right. So um, then on you, Ajahn Poo. Uh, Jennifer, Kiko and Khan, you are room number one. So I will break out the rooms and you click on room number one. And then, um, wait a moment. And then Polly, Kisrina, Joyce and Julian. You are room number two. And for the last three person, um, Alex, Tabby, and uh, Prem, you are room number three. So three of uh, three groups will brainstorming how to making the better social interaction in uh, worldwide community, right? And then if you want to get more information, you can download it from the QR code, which is nature share. So I think uh, may, may, may may share it again. So you guys just get ready to, to, to scan and get that information and brainstorming about like what you can catch up on or right. what. Or, you or, or you can ask. Yeah, or, or you can ask. Yeah. yeah, because we are here. May is, uh, will be still with us all, all the way. So you can ask or you can download the things. So how... Um, how we do the workshop, right? You guys just breaking the rooms and then you share, um, sorry, you share, uh, one of you might, might share a uh, whiteboard and then three of you or four of you will writing down something that you want to do, right? I need this whiteboard to be as your submarine idea. And then we will come back to the main room in 12, 15. 12.15, 12.15, you, we, we will back and each group will present some of your ideas as a 
as a sketching or as a something that you're drawing on your whiteboard. That's just a rough design or rough idea. But I just want to know you like in your opinion how to making the social interactions better in that silverware craft community, which is major. Mentioned it, and we, uh, Ajahn Pu, Ajahn Panom, and they will like we're moving on to each room to like. If you have any questions, you can ask us more about the detail. So right now, I will breaking the rooms. Okay. Yeah, so I want me to share the QR code again. Ajahn. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ajahn, uh, Ajahn, Ne, <laughs> Ajahn, Ajahn. I have to stop, right? Okay, I stop. Yes. Okay. This one. Yes. Okay, you guys just this is a scan it. Yeah, scan it. The three <laughs> models and locations to see like what it looks like. And then you draw in ideas. So I we, we just need your, your rough idea like as a group. What you think to improve the social interaction from the local people, the new generations, and the craftsmanship in those area, and you will design it and present to us next Friday. So this is just like the beginning of the work, okay? And I open the rooms right now. Do you guys see the room? Okay, so you just click on. The room that you have to be, okay. Uh, key code Jennifer and Khan, room number one, right? Alex Tabby Bray, room number three. Christina Polly Joy and Julie, room number two. So right now you're moving to your room. As I see, like, okay. They move already. So, um, Ajahn. What, what can we do? Uh, you, you can, uh, Ajahn can choose the room craft on the breaking rooms on the down below room. button. Then we have like, then we have a short to show it's like, Joy, one, Joy two, breaking three. room. Joy's breaking okay. room. And you can go wherever you want. <laughs> or, or, or maybe we can like move by, by time. Maybe, um, how to say like 10 minutes. First Ajahn. 10 minutes. I can go from first, like second, and then third, and then we turn in how many minutes? We have 30 minutes, like from uh, 11, minutes. yeah, each, each go for 10 minutes. Each, each 10 minutes, okay. Too long? Okay. I'm not sure, but, but, but maybe we can like uh, re, uh, go to them for the like, first five minutes and then let them talk in last five minutes and then we move something to another room. Okay. okay. This is my first time to breaking rooms, really nervous, but that's going well, I think. <laughs> Very okay. nice. Uh, I'm going see you to soon. see you soon. See, see you in um next 30 minutes, couple. <laughs>